Hey guys, this is a video, um, another tutorial on some sort of modeling related object, and uh, I'm going to be teaching you how to take decent pictures of your minis. Simple as that. So when I do my uh, photography, I like to set up a picture station, if you will, and um, generally it's just a large white piece of paper, so that's this right here, and you can see that it curves, right? So that's the first step you want to get, and I use metal termies to keep it weighted down, so that's step one. The next step is to get um, proper lighting, and I use this desk lamp right here, it's pretty small. As you can see, the light bulb is kind of bluish. That's a daylight bulb, and it's 60 watts. And so I just like to put it right here, turn it on, and point it right there. And that's step two. And you can put your model right there, and there you go. Usually when I do my photography, I use the camera that I'm using right now to take this video. But ever since my sister came home, I now have a nice digital SLR to use which is awesome but I don't know if it'll work with my tripod because my tripod is quite weak and is only meant for these pocket cameras the camera I use is 6 megapixels or the one that's taking the video but my digital SLR is about 8 I think so you really don't need any more than six for anything you take, be it pictures of people or scenery or even minis, because if you have too little, it could be blurry, and if you have too many, you'll get a lot of noise, which is like you get, your pictures will get really pixelated, and that's something you really don't want. So generally when you take pictures, what you want to do is mount your camera on a tripod, and then you would put your settings to macro which if you can see it it's the little flower right there so all cameras do macro all good cameras should do macro and then what you're gonna do is set the timer for 10 seconds so that you can since you're on a tripod you can push the button and walk away or step back so that way your camera isn't moving when you take the picture and that way it won't be blurry it'll be sharper even if, if you want, you can turn the exposure time up, so that way the lens will be open more for longer, so then you'll get sharper pictures. I don't do this because um, it tends to make my pictures really bright, and I don't like the results. You should make sure that your flash is off when you take pictures, because it could possibly wash out this color. But with my DSLR, uh, I don't know how to turn the flash off. Well, I do, but then when I turn the flash off, it's not in macro mode. So, um, I just leave it, let it go. And the pictures that come out are pretty good quality. And I am pretty impressed with what it does. So what you're going to do is you're going to focus, and then just take your picture. And there you should, after the 10 seconds, it will take, it'll be, uh, a very high quality picture. You can see the picture that I take in this video at the end. It's not very hard and uh, it's actually quite rewarding sometimes. Thanks for watching this video. Uh, if you have any other requests on tutorials, let me know because I find this quite fun.